Under 80, you have 80C, 80D, 80E. Like that, many subsections you will get. Say, 80C means all these investment. 80CCC stands for all your pension funds. Up to 40% of the disability, we call it as normal. If it exceeds 40%, we call it as Severe disability. Remember, up to if you spend thirty thousand means you should go for thirty thousand only, not forty. Up to wherever they have mentioned, you have to go for up to. Hello everyone. This is your other sir here. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session one of your new topic that is direction under chapter 6a. Now, today we will understand what is deduction. Why do we take deduction under income tax? What is the uses of deduction? Everything we will discuss in today's session. Now, in this topic you will get one 10 mark question and that will be your theory. And you will not get any problems on this as per your syllabus. Now, they will give you, there are many deductions are there from 80C to 80U. The name of the deduction we call it as 80C, 80D, 80E, like that we name. But we don't have any calculation for your syllabus. You are supposed to explain any five deduction or whatever deduction they mention in the question paper. They will give you explain ATC, ATD. You are supposed to explain those two directions. Your question will be like this. And your agenda is very simple. We'll understand the concept along with meaning. So before we go to deduction, we will understand what do you mean by deduction. Now, Chapter 6A, the deduction we call it as, it comes under Chapter 6A of your Income Tax Act, contains various subsections of Section 80 that allows an SEC to claim deduction from the gross total income. I'll tell you what is your gross total income. Before that, we'll complete the theory part. Now, Chapter 6A of Income Tax Act contains various subsections of 80. Under 80, you have 80C, 80D, 80E, like that many subsections you will get. Now, assessee to claim deduction from the gross total income on account of various tax saving investment. You can do tax saving investment, permitted expenditure, donation, etc. Such deduction allow an assessor to considerably reduce the tax payable. So how it reduces, I'll give you one simple example. You will understand better how to reduce tax. Now, just assume that, just you take an example of mine only. Just assume I'm getting 10,000 salary per month. 10,000 into 12, what is my salary? My salary is 1,20,000. What is my salary? 1,20,000. And just assume that I'm getting tuition income of 10,000 per month. So 10,000 into 12, it will be 1,20,000. And so I'm doing the stock market. From stock market, I'm getting 1,20,000. So what is my income? 1,20,000. I have some deposit in the bank. From that, I am getting interest. How much I am getting? From that, I am getting around 1,20,000. So along with that, I have some capital gain. That is other sources. All the five heads. So total it is 1,20,000. Total, it will be 6 lakh is your income. You are supposed to pay tax on what? 6 lakh, you have to find out up to 2 lakh 50, it is exempted. And above 2 lakh 50, 5 percent up to 5 lakh. Like that, we have calculation. In the next semester, you will get all this calculation. But just I am explaining the concept of deduction in this. Now, what is your salary? 6 lakh. All your tax calculation will be done on what value? On 6 lakh. But 
before that we have concept called deduction can you reduce your tax answer is yes how whatever income you got you have done some investment you have invested in the post office like nsc national savings certificate how much you have invested some 50000 nsc you have invested some 50000 and Along with that, you have invested some insurance premium around 50,000. Insurance premium. And along with that, you have taken some mediclaim policy of 5,000 or something. Mediclaim policy, it is around 5,000. Along with that, you made some donation to some charity like National Defense Fund or any prime minister fund any donations you have made how much you made you made around 50000 donation now along with that you have taken house and you are paying house installment installment means you are paying emi every month uh, for that emi you are supposed to pay interest also that house rent house loan interest you are paying around 1 lakh and you have your child so you have taken loan for their education so for their education you have taken on that you are paying interest of 50,000 these are the expenditure you have made now what is the total 50 plus 50 1 lakh plus 5 1 lakh 5,000 1 lakh 55 2 lakh 55 and 3 lakh 55,000. 6 lakh minus 3 lakh 55,000. You are supposed to pay tax on what? Only 2 lakh 45. There is no tax only. Why? Because up to 2 lakh 50 tax exempted. Clear? So we are not paying tax here. Why? Because you have done so many savings. Now, so these savings are like NIC insurance premium we call it as ATC and your medical claim policy and all it comes under ATD and your donation and all it comes under ATG your house rent and your education comes under ATE like this even your house loan principal amount comes under ATC actually now so these are the deductions you have because of these are the savings or these are the investment you made you will get exemption your tax burden can be reduced and there is no tax see you are supposed to pay tax on 6 lakh now it has reduced to 2 lakh 45 up to 2 lakh 50 no tax only so we will not calculate tax hope you are clear this is the advantage of your deduction clear now what we are going to do in today's session in today's session we will understand what is ATC what is ATD and what is ATG? Like that, we learn one by one. Now, first we'll go to ATC. ATC come along with, it is joined with ATCCC and ATCCD. Now, under this what we have ATC, deduction in respect of life insurance premium, deferred annuity, contribution to provident fund, subscription to certain equity, shares or debentures, etc. All comes under your ATC, ATCCC and ATCCD. And the deduction limit is rupees 150. Remember, in the example, how much I have taken ATC? 50 plus 50, 1 lakh. It should not exceed 1 lakh 50. Just assume that you have 80,000 and you have 90,000. 80 plus 90, how much? 170. But we can take up to 150. The maximum limit we consider 1 lakh 50,000. Now, together with section 80 CCC and section 80 CCD, all put together, we get 1 lakh 50,000. Now, Direction in respect of contribution to certain pension fund. See, ATC means all these investment. ATCCC stands for all your pension funds. This 1,50,000 is not separate. All put together, we consider only 1,50,000. Then, 
AKCC deduction in respect of contribution to pension scheme, it comes around central government. It is also comes under your 150 all put together. Clear. And remember, it should not exceed 20% of your gross code. Don't go in depth. Why? Because you will not get any problem. Just you have to remember the theory concept. If they ask you to explain ATC deduction, you have to write exactly what it is there on the screen. Later, you can take screenshot. Right now, just remember ATC for all the investment purpose like your PF, like your insurance premium, like your NSC or any investment plans, including your pension also. What is the maximum limit? 150,000. You should not exceed 150. You can invest even 10 lakh also, but how much limit you will get? How much exemption you will get? You will get exemption of 150,000. Now, we'll go to ATD deduction. Now, deduction in respect of health insurance. D for what? Doctor. D for doctor. Now, deduction in respect of health insurance premium. Premium paid up to 25,000 is eligible for deduction individual other than senior citizen. For senior citizen, we consider 50,000. If me or you, it will be 25,000 below age of 60 years. If you are above 60, the same exemption limit X will cross to 50,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. And overall limit under 80 is one lakh. How come, sir? Individual, it is 25 and senior citizen, it is 50. If you add also, it will become 75. How come you are giving one lakh? You have your dad, your mom and you. How much it will be? 50, 50 plus 25, 1 lakh 25. But what is the limit you will get? You will get all put together. It should not exceed 1 lakh. Clear? And remember, your ATD stands for all the medical policy premium. And now what is the limit? 25,000 for individual like us and 50,000 for above 60 years senior citizen. Even though your exact 60 also you come under 50,000 slab. Now, after this, along with this, we have one more important. It is not mentioned here. What does that mean? The payment what you make, it should be made through check. Cash payment will not, con will not come for your premium. Hope you are clear. It should be made through what? Check, not cash payment. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, your deduction under section 80 D. Now, 80 D deduction in respect of maintenance including medical treatment of dependent. D stands for dependent. Dependent means you have some your nephew or your cousin. So he is mentally disabled or he has some serious disease. You're taking care of that person. Then whatever expenses you made, you have exemption of 75% or if it is a severe disease, it will be 125. They will mention in the question itself whether it is a normal or whether it is a severe. Now, up to 40% of the disability, we call it as normal. If it exceeds 40%, we call it as severe disability. Hope you are clear. Now, what is the limit? 75,000 and 125,000. Now, 75,000, if it is for fixed like 40 to 80 percent this one above 80 percent this one now for example you have spent 40,000 then we'll go for 75 or we'll go for 40. remember even though you spent one rupee you have to go for 75 that is a fixed one you can go up to 75 and in these cases you can go up to 1 lakh 25. This is what ATD for dependent uh, deceased person. And what is the limit? If his disability is 40 to 80 percent, it will be 75,000. Disability exceeds 80 percent, it goes to 1 lakh 25,000. Hope you are clear. 
yes. Eighty double grip B expenditure up to forty thousand on medical treatment of specified diseases from neurologist and oncologist, urologist and hematologist and uh, immunologist. So these are the medical terms actually. So if you can remember, remember R S N E one R two. You have to remember the same thing that is for. Dependent, but this one for yourself. So in this forty thousand, remember up to if you spend thirty thousand means you should go for thirty thousand only, not forty. Up to wherever they have mentioned, you have to go for up to. Hope you are clear. Yes. In case of individual on behalf of whom such expenses are incurred, is a senior citizen the individual or HF taxpayer claim deduction? Up to if it is a senior citizen, we can go up to one lakh. If it is an individual below sixty years, you can go up to forty thousand. Hope you are clear. Yeah. So this is all about your today's discussion. Still, we have another five or six deduction. Next session will complete that. Now I'll go back to all the slides so that you can take screenshot. Yeah. So there is a meaning of your deduction. So this will be the first part of your deduction. Second part, third part, fourth one. Yes, this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is your deduction. Topic. Now, please work out. Try to remember the two to three points on each deduction because for ten marks they will ask you minimum four out of this, and still we have more. Thank you.